water for electricity generation enters through two rectangular power intakes located underwater at the left bank of the dam and flows through two steel line penstocks to the powerhouse. There, it drives two Francis turbines with a combined install capacity of 51 megawatts. Rantambe, which commenced commercial operation in 1990 after three years of construction, has a gross waterhead of 33 meters and is classified as a medium pressure power plant. The electricity produced by the generators at both Rantambe and Randanigala is fed into the national grid via a common switchyard at Rantambe and is operated by remote control from the national control center of the Salon Electricity Board. The project would not be complete without the construction of a permanent link to the local road network, thereby contributing to the development of infrastructure in this part of Sri Lanka. 25 kilometers of asphaltic concrete road now form a major section of the highway along the Mahaveli between Kandy and the new irrigation systems in the east of the island. In building this road, much consideration has been given to environmental factors such as erosion, and adequate provision has been made for flowing water by way of culverts and drains. Safeguarding the environment is a constant concern with Salzgitter Consult, and appropriate protection measures form an integral part of the design and construction of every project. Indeed, the need to plan in harmony with nature as well as the need to adhere to environmental legislation has led to the emergence of environmental engineering as a discipline in its own right. The Randenigala and Rantambe area has been the traditional habitat for a wide variety of endemic and migratory birds as well as animals. Therefore, environmental concerns are of particular importance. In fact, the special significance of this area was acknowledged when it was declared a sanctuary at the request of the World Wildlife Fund. Realizing the Rangbenigala and Rangtambe projects, Salzgitter Consult has been able to contribute to the successful implementation of the accelerated Mahaveli development program. As a result, the many benefits of these projects are already being experienced by Sri Lanka and its people.